it's interesting that you say that. You know, I, I, I went to school and I have a marketing degree and I've always been fascinated by marketing and advertising. And uh, um, believe it or not, it was, uh, I saw Jenna Jameson, the porn star, t Twitter, and uh, she was just getting wrecked by her haters. And she kept retweeting all this haters. And, and I was like, man, I, uh, this is kind of cool because you kind of get in her corner. And I'm like, man, I can't believe that she would retweet. That's really brutal stuff they're saying about her. But it's kind of like, hey, I love that she's being transparent and she's giving them a voice. Mm -hmm. And so I started to do that. And, uh, you know, it, it, I, I, at the time, I felt like, man, 90% of these 50,000 people that are following me on Twitter uh, hate me. But no, it's the ones that uh, they're just being loud and they love being a, a, a platform where I'm retweeting. Uh, they, they, they were being brutal to but me. You're in the community. Yeah. They're being communicated with. They're, they're, not re they're not hitting a dead wall, are they? It, it, it was something I learned. And, and it's, sometimes I try and engage and argue with them and everything. And, uh, you, know, you know, that stuff doesn't work. You know, it's funny because uh, Lauren, uh, tried to engage with some of her haters, and Kevin Hart's like, Lauren, you can't do this. Trust me, I, I, I know you can't. You can't. I've been trying to, to fight with the haters forever. There's there's no win right there. And he, I, it was funny because he was trying to counsel her, and I'm just in complete agreement because I know, look, you can't beat the haters. The haters, just, listen, the haters. That's the haters. Hey, enjoy the haters. I love my haters. I love my fans, and uh, you know, uh, I'm not mad at you. They, you don't like the way I do it. That's 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 on you. I got no problem with that. There are, there's, there's not many people that come across with a, a world-renowned porn star as an inspiration in life. So there's a, there's a, there's a first. Isn't that story. funny? How, let me ask you this question. Um, we all we all get haters these days because we've all got a social media platform, especially if we're in a business where we're producing something creative, and that that is a broad span. How how, do, how does it affect you? Does it? Does it hurt? It hurts the hell out of me. Oh, back in the day, it used to hurt me. It, it actually doesn't phase me one bit. It, it doesn't. You know, some of it uh, might come from, hey, this person genuinely doesn't like you. Some of them might be, maybe they're kind of jealous. And for me, a lot of it was a lot of regular guys back home that felt they had just as much poker skill as I did in their back home having to go do a nine to five and suffering through, you know, wife nagging them, the kids driving them nuts and everything. And I'm out here traveling all over the world, first class flying private, and they're feeling like they can play poker every bit as I can. And how come I'm living this good life? And there's a, you know, and, 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 and you got to respect that. Hey, this is, uh, you know, this, some of this stuff isn't fair. And while I'm bitching about a bad beat, you know, and uh, getting my uh, aces cracked or something like that, it's like they would love to be out there getting their aces beat. And, 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 you know, sometimes in life, and it's like, you know, I always tease my wife because uh, I married a beautiful Mexican girl uh, just recently, got married on the beach in, in Mexico. I always tease her about how I used up all my good luck marrying her. Because, I mean, when I come out of a poker session, I'm like, you know, it's like you want to pull your hair out. You're just like, how can this keep going on? You know, you just, you feel like you're doing everything correctly. You're getting your money in good and the results the same. And it's like, what in the world? And then, you know, and if I could trade all of it right now, for sure I would say that I'm, I'm in front. I'm way in front. It's not even close. So, uh, you know, sometimes I got to catch myself from whining and bitching and, you know. <laughs> and by the way, all that bitching, it, it, it doesn't really help for a poker game because, uh, you know, people want to be around where it's a fun environment. And it's really hard. When you're losing and getting your brains bashed in, you just want to sometimes pout or what, or you just want a recognition, say, hey, dude, this guy's runs really shitty or, you know, getting his brains breathed in. But, you know, that doesn't help you at all. And I've found that sometimes when you do get them to feel sorry for you, uh, what's going to happen is they're going to stop trying to give you action because they they, they, they don't want to see you get beat anymore. So, so now they're not going to call you and now you have aces and all of a sudden everybody folds to you. It's like, you know, so you definitely don't want to be, you want to be the guy that's fun to beat. Yeah. You know, Vivek, Tom Dwan, these are guys, great examples of that. You know, uh, Antonio Esfandiari, they, they make it so much fun to beat them that you're yeah, like, hey, you know what? I know this person's great, Andrew Robel. I know this person's a very, very good poker player, but there's so much fun to play with. Right.
being fun to play with. And that's one of the things I like to tell poker players. It doesn't matter how good a poker player you are. If you're not fun to play with, people are just not going to want to play with you. And it's like, you're not going to get the action. I get all the action for sure. And that's a big, big plus for me. I get all the action. There's not a game out there that I don't get invited to. Right. I don't have a seat with. You know, I mean, a lot of people might say it's because you're terrible. Of course they want to play with you. Well, you know, maybe, maybe I a little th bit. I think it's a, I think it's a lot, a lot more than that. You, you, you don't end up friends with Kevin Hart just because you're a, he, he doesn't he doesn't need your money, dude. <laughs> you know what I mean? Kevin Hart's your friend because you've got this energy that he wants to be around.